Hi, I'll be making stuffed rasam flavored tomatoes today. For this, we'll be starting with the tomatoes first. We just have to cut off the lid of the tomatoes. Just cut it off for all the tomatoes. After cutting off the lids, we'll be scooping out all the seeds from the tomatoes. And just repeat this process for the rest of the tomatoes. And make sure you don't throw away the lids because we'll be needing them again. After we've hollowed the tomatoes, we'll make the filling. Take a little bit of oil. To the soil, I'll be adding one chopped onion. We just have to saute it till it's a little transparent. It seems about done. So I'll just add some chopped beets to this. Some chopped red capsicum. To this, I'll add some salt to taste. We don't have to overcook the vegetables. We want them to have a little bite because they're going to be cooked again with the tomatoes. So just keep them a little underdone. To this, I'm going to add about half a cup of boiled rice. I'll be adding some MTR rasam powder, which will give it the real flavor. And stir it up well. All the flavors are coming out. Now, I'll be filling this rice mixture in these tomatoes. Now, I'll be preparing the gravy for this. Take a little bit of oil. And it seems hot, so I'll be adding the mustard seeds. As you can see, they're spluttering. I'll add the curry leaves and the chopped tomato. To this, I'll be adding about a pinch of turmeric. Turmeric adds to the color as well as the flavor of the dish. Some salt and about a tablespoon of rasam powder. As you can see, the rasam powder has coated the tomatoes. It's giving a good flavor to the dish. And now, we need a nice thick gravy for this. So, I'll add a little more water to this. We cook this gravy for a little while. So, then the rasam powder and the curry leaves will give out the flavor to the gravy nicely. And there, the gravy is done. Thick, mashed, and it'll coat the tomatoes very well. So now, using a toothpick, just put it slanting into the tomatoes and put the tomatoes inside. Just coat the tomatoes with the gravy. Cook them for about a minute. We don't want the tomatoes very mushy. We want them just half done. I guess they should be done. And yeah, they look nice, soft, as you can see. And the gravy is also thick. So I'll just put off the flame for serving them. I'll just be arranging a bed of rice. And I'll spoon this gravy and tomato on top of this. Spoon over some gravy. Garnish it with a fresh coriander leaf. And there you go. The stuffed rasam flavored tomato are ready to serve.